Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, we got a little ditty here from Modern Women, Whammons Archives, um, about this chick, I don't know, trying to pick up guys or something like that. Let's see. Let's scroll down a little bit. Um, women have reached a higher level of desperation thanks to red pill content. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Day five of me trying to meet someone naturally. Oh, okay. I'm on my way to the city. This is the outfit I'm wearing. Very feminine, very white, clear, pure, I would say. Let's see pure. if I'm gonna meet someone today. My ass is I pure. will try to smile and keep eye contact without sunglasses. <laughs> keep eye contact right. if I like someone. Keep fingers crossed for me. I was doing no, a I will not. shopping. I even went to the bookstore to take a look. In general, I was walking around, smiling. The weather was beautiful. So I was reading a little bit while sitting on a bench. I also grabbed some coffee. Okay, uh, look, I apologize for interrupting, guys. Bitch, no one is approaching you because you have your fucking phone in your fucking face pointed at you the whole goddamn time. Put your phone down. Ladies, ladies, listen. Listen, this is for the 0.4%. Yes, I looked it up. Not even half a percent of women watch my content. But the 0.4% that are, put your fucking phones away. No one's approaching you because you have it on you. Literally, like, look at how many shots she did. And you know, she didn't take just one shot. She took multiple shots. Like, oh, that angle's not good enough. Oh, the lighting's not good enough on that one. She had her phone out all the time. And look at what she's doing right now. She's just walking down the street. Look, I'm smiling. Mm, I, a shot for this, a shot for that, so I can edit it later. She's got her phone pointed at her the whole goddamn time. No wonder. Lady, no wonder no one's fucking talking to you. And a quick update. In general, I was stopped by three women who told me that I look beautiful right. and they love my outfit. So that was super, super kind. Also, one man stopped me and started talking to me but unfortunately i didn't like him <laughs> so i told him that i'm seeing someone of in general course. i didn't oh, know so you so you lied so you lied and then you post it online guys see it and then you wonder why they don't fucking approach you like look high value guys aren't approaching they don't approach they are surrounded by hot beautiful women the guys that this bitch wants are guys that she has. She just doesn't have the access to them, man. She's her standards are too high, and she's never gonna find that guy because the guy's not gonna approach her. It's just not how it's what gonna work. What to say? So I just said that I'm dating someone already. Liar. Women have now resorted to trying to compel men to get them to approach oh. because their desperation has reached an all-time high. Yeah. What makes matters worse is when a guy did approach her. She rejected him by telling a lie. Boom. Now she knows why guys don't bother any longer. And if it was a Chad, she would have gave him her number. Immediately. Only to get pumped and dumped later. Yep. These modern women destroyed the dating market. Yeah. And now they're reaping the consequences of their words and actions. Well, uh, something I want to add on to, to him really quick. He's making great points. See, guys... The woman doesn't have any skill to approach a man. And they just, they don't generally, some do. And they're usually a little nuttier. If a woman, uh, like, comes up to you and is like, you're so hot and blah, blah, blah. Maybe she's drunk or something. Because <laughs> I've had that. I've had drunk bitches come up to me and be like, you're so hot. and You know, totally shit-faced. But women don't have the skill to approach like a man does a man that's that's what we're you know designed to do that's mostly like we have that skill we because we have to do we have to be the ones to take that initiation you even heard her she's like i'm wearing this i'm doing this so that i'm approachable that's that's what women that's all they're good for is trying to be in the right place at the right time to catch someone's attention because they can't be the ones that like approach and also and i think this is a bigger thing they cannot deal with rejection if they go up to a guy you know their their chat or whatever their high value man 
and they go to approach and they get rejected, that bitch is going to be crying for three days straight from one rejection. Men get rejected all the fucking time. And yes, it hurts. Some deal with it better than others. But we get used to it because it happens a lot. Even me personally. I used to I used to go and approach and, and all that shit. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but I, I did, and I got rejected all the fucking time. It happens. Bitches can't deal with it. They don't know how to process it. That's why all of... That's why like 99.9% of women do not approach is because they cannot deal. They cannot handle. They don't know how to process rejection. That's my opinion. All right. Let's see what else he's got. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh <laughs> what are the rules to hitting on someone or approaching someone at the gym? Uh, whenever I go to the gym, I see guys that I think are attractive that like maybe I wouldn't mind getting to know, but one, I'm way too afraid to approach them. But <laughs> even if I had the courage to approach them, do they want to be approached at the gym? I feel like people just go to the gym and they want to work out and they don't want to be bothered. Yeah. Um, some people, they don't want to be bothered. Some people wouldn't mind. Like, uh, I go to the gym six days a week. Uh, I... Now, this girl is very mid. She's very average, right? Some of you guys might be a little <laughs> meaner than I am about it. I think she's, I don't know, I think she's all right. She's cute, but I can't see the rest of her body. She might be a chubster. But going by the face, she's she's fine. Whatever. And she's not cussing every other word. She's not, like, masculine and shit. So, yeah, I got her kind of stopped in a <laughs> unfortunate facial expression here <laughs> but um i wouldn't mind honestly and the reason is and we all know the reason is is because of this no guy wants to get me to no guy wants to get thrown on tiktok and get thrown under the bus and have his life turned to shit because one bitch had to be like "Ew, look at this creep who looked at me for 0.23 seconds right that's why this stopped that's why it Guys were like, nope, nope, no more. That's why, lady. So what do we think? Are we approaching people at the gym? Is that okay to do? Should I try it? Five years. What? Why are you? Just make up your own mind. See the hive mind behind these bitches? What do we think? What do we do about it? Bitch, make up your own mind. Make it. Think for yourself, ladies. Start thinking for yourself. Get away from the sisterhood. Get away from the hive mind. Use your own thoughts. S take a step back. Process what you saw or what you're thinking. Yep. Keep thinking about it. Keep thinking about it. And make up your own mind. Use logic, ladies. Men are logical creatures. That's how we think. Analytical. Go for it. Years ago, women would never have dreamed of approaching men. Now they're trying to take on the man's role because they're desperate for relationships more than ever before. All I can say to them is... Good luck with that. There you go. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. I really appreciate it. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, please. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.